Hey guys and welcome to another vlog. You are probably going to be watching these in a really weird order but it's actually only the second full day that we've had Stormy but you'll probably be seeing this when she's a couple of weeks. Oh, she wants to get down. <laughs> So you'll probably be watching this when she's been with us for a couple of weeks just because I really really wanted to get the news out there with you that we've got her so that that wasn't a big secret and I felt like I couldn't talk about certain things but she's fitting in so so well so far and we're loving having her. So I thought I'd bring you along with me for a day out in Bath with Stormy today. It's actually her first time going into the city centre, so I'm not going to go in for too long and we'll try not to overwhelm her, but I'm just going to grab a bit of lunch because I don't really want to leave her on her own for too long at the moment. Our trainer said that it's probably best to kind of stay with her for a few days until she trusts us. So I'm going to grab a bite to eat for lunch and kind of just practice walking with her, giving her some treats and maybe do a little bit of shopping as well, anywhere that's dog friendly. Um, and Ziggy's fine as well, he's upstairs chilling. As lots of you will know, he really loves his alone time, so we're making sure to give him at least kind of four or five hours a day, split up obviously into different parts throughout the day, just so he can sleep and he can chill and be on his own. And then it makes it a lot more bearable for him when <laughs> Stormy runs up to him, tries to jump on him and yeah, all of that puppy stuff. But so far so good and they are actually loving each other. So fingers crossed it lasts. <laughs> Here she is, the little bundle of fluff. <gasps> are you gonna say hello, Stormy? Yeah, hello, hello. Also, whilst, whilst we're here, um, they do need painting and the floors do need cleaning, but Stormy's had a go at my skirting boards already, so... Oh, and on cue is having... Oh no, she's not. She's just licking the floor. I honestly can't deal with how fluffy, it, how fluffy she is. Let me just show you. See, that's her body. This is all just fluff. <laughs> right, let's go out. Okay, so that didn't work out quite as I had planned. <laughs> I feel like it never does, does it, when you get a new puppy or do something that's quite different. But I ended up popping into Bath and basically full time just having to carry Stormy around and giving her treats, trying to get her used to all the sounds of the city and seeing different people, seeing dogs kind of all of those different things. So I didn't want to focus on vlogging because I wanted to give her all of my attention. But I thought instead I would kind of just carry on with this vlog. I'm going to be popping into town a couple of other times in the week just to run some errands and stuff and we'll take her with me then. So yeah, I'll pick up the camera as and when I can and it'll probably be more of a general weekly vlog. <laughs> so sorry about that, but you know, it's puppy life. Also thought it was worth showing you her setup. So I was actually really reluctant to get a pen or a crate or anything, but we spoke to our trainer and to the woman who um, owns Stormy's mama. And she said that it just really helps um, to help her kind of feel calm and safe. Oh, did you just bang your head? So we've got this this pen, which is actually really useful. I don't love this metal, but it's only gonna be for a few weeks whilst we kind of get her settled in. And I'm just sat working at the temporary dining table setup, and I've just got her right next to me so that she can obviously relax and settle. This toy is a godsend. This is, she's probably gonna come and, yeah. <laughs> it's a, lamb oh there we go and it like vibrates kind of like a heartbeat and they just find it really soothing so yeah she's really enjoying that and we've just got a bed in there a puppy pad which she actually hasn't needed yet because she has been going outside which is amazing but it obviously won't last so just kind of being prepared for that and yeah i just thought i'd show you that setup so you can kind of see how she's getting on Good morning guys. So I was a bit rubbish at vlogging yesterday but I thought I'd just carry on today and show you what I'm up to. So Stormy was actually really well behaved last night, mostly. I think she was probably better the night before. She did get up once in the night but I mean we're not complaining about that. We're currently letting her sleep in our room which is what we have been told to do by a few people and just slowly kind of ease them out until they trust you. Um, we don't want her to be kind of dependent or have separation anxiety. So, yeah, we've been told that the best thing to do is to make them 
trust you first and then kind of slowly edge them away from where you sleep, which we'll do. Sorry if you can hear her in the background, she's just in her playpen down there. But I have a package here which I thought it would be nice to open with you all. Um, I obviously haven't opened it yet, but I think it's quite an exciting one from Hotel Chocolat who I'm actually working on a campaign with for Instagram. So this isn't sponsored in any way, but I've always been interested in this. And but I've always been, let me just stop Siggy barking. Sorry about that. Um, so I, yeah, I've always been, Oh god, I stopped Ziggy, and now Stormy's having a little whine and a moan, but I'm just going to ignore her, so if you hear some squeaking and it sounds like a budgie, it's just my new puppy. So I've actually been really interested in these for a while, but basically wanted to wait until our kitchen was more done. Um, so I'm really, really happy to finally be getting one. I'm sure lots of you will know what it is already, but let me just open this up. Okay, so first thing that I always really like and I know I mention this all the time but good packaging so straight away this was a cardboard box so just like the main delivery box and there's branded packaging inside which is all paper it looks like it's not being printed with any kind of plastic on it so that's great and then there's a small note in here as well a card so, it just has a nice picture of, I guess, one of the pieces. It says, thank you, did these chocolates make you happy? Mm-hmm. How oh, nice. And it's got my order in, which was for the Velvetizer in Platinum, and then the Everything Selection box, so that I can kind of give it a good go, and also make some videos of, of myself using it for you guys to see, and hopefully give it a go for yourselves as well. Okay, so this is the first thing that is in the box. So this is the Everything selection of drinking chocolate. So I've been told that you can use this for hot chocolate or cold kind of milkshake type drink. So looking forward to giving that a go. The flavours are salted caramel, hazelnut prali, prala, prali, prali, <laughs> orange, mint, ginger, chilli, vanilla, milky, classic, dark, real grated chocolate and nothing else. Cool, so excited to give that a go. And then here is the main thing. So this is the Velvetizer, which is a drinking chocolate system. So apparently this makes the most amazing hot chocolate. So if you've actually got one or you've tried it before, let me know any tips you have, because I'm gonna give it a go probably this morning actually, because I'm gonna get ready properly. Obviously I look like a bit of a mess. Just to say actually, this is, so I'm sat at our new dining table, which I haven't shown anywhere yet. And I don't think I actually started recording a kind of transformation for YouTube, but the table is a piece that my mum has kindly given me from her home. I just wanted something that felt kind of more rustic and she had one in her garage. So I thought that was perfect. And I'm gonna sand and treat it probably in the next week or so. So that's really exciting. And I have a bench arriving for where I'm sat right now. So yeah, I'll definitely show you all of that properly soon. But for now, you can see the new colour, which is Mixed by Coat Paints, which, and the colour is Mouse's Back by Farron Ball. So I'm really happy with it. I've got some spotlights on in the moment, at the moment, so it does look probably warmer than it actually is, but you need to be able to see me and this is a very dark room in the cottage. <laughs> So again, I haven't seen any plastic, which makes me happy. Oh, this is so cute. Oh god, I didn't expect it to come with glasses. Okay, so it's come with these two, I would say they're kind of fluted, a really simple china um, handleless mug, which is really nice. That's actually something that I would buy anyway, so I'm really happy with that because, you know, normally in these kind of included in 
what you actually want. They're normally a bit rubbish. I don't know if anyone else finds that, but those are really nice. By Andrew Wicks. I wonder if that's... So it says on the bottom that these are by Andrew Wicks, but I wonder if that's just these and maybe his design or if it's the whole machine. I'm not sure, but they also stack quite nicely. Do you know what? I could do with a couple more of those. Really sweet. Yeah, I like those. And then here is the Velvetizer. So I suppose it works kind of like a kettle, but instead of just heating it frothed, froth, frothes? <laughs> instead of heating it froths and yeah, makes it better. Doesn't make it better, makes it better. I swear I've got baby brain, but I mean, I've not been pregnant. And so that's the base. And then here we have the main, main piece. I really love this color. It's kind of like a gun metal. I know it said champagne, but was it champagne or platinum? God, I'm so forgetful. I can't find the packaging, but yeah, it's a really nice colour that will go really well with my coffee machine and KitchenAid and some of the other bigger appliances that I have in the kitchen. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to show for now, I suppose, until I get it all set up in the kitchen. But yeah, I'm really happy with that and excited to actually give it a go this morning. Um, I think I will have a hot chocolate instead of my morning coffee, which will be a nice treat. So I actually finished shooting my advert for Hotel Chocolat a couple of hours ago. But I just wanted to show you kind of how it looks in situ. Obviously this corner isn't tidy at the moment and there's also usually my smoothie maker there which would cover the cables. But I think it looks really nice and really smart. I literally hate that word but it does look pretty smart in there in the kind of drinks making cubby with my coffee machine and other bits as well. I actually take really great pride <laughs> that's not right i actually take a lot of pride in the fact that i'm very very honest when it comes to reviews and i wouldn't share something if i didn't think it was worth it but honestly mikey said the hot chocolate here this morning was the best he's had in his life and although i think i have had a nice hot chocolate once i remember when i was skiing and it was insane i made a white chocolate chilled chocolate drink <laughs> I don't really know what you'd call it but it was honestly incredible like really really creamy and delicious and yeah so definitely recommend that to anyone who likes chocolatey drinks <laughs> also guys you are just gonna have to ignore some of the mess around this area but I am loving how it's looking over here I'm not really sure I showed you this in my kind of kitchen updates vlog if that's gone live the ceiling still isn't finished but yeah i'm honestly just so ow i just banged my head oh god you won't be able to see but i've got this new shelf and you know when you're not used to where things are and i banged my head really hard so back to this um these are from an amazing 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 company in not far from us um just outside of bath as well they're called folk house and it's a couple who are honestly so brilliant and they make everything themselves and this is solid oak came with these brass brackets which i love this peg rail and these two shelves are from them and Ignore all of the marks in the walls, that's just from when they were hung, but that's going to be repainted soon. But, yeah, I absolutely love it, and it's going to be used for mugs, water glasses, and then for hanging baskets with things like, well, that hasn't got anything in yet, things just like tea towels, aprons, anything like that. So, yeah, really happy with how that little corner is kind of coming together. Looks so much warmer, and I just need something now on this wall but I'm thinking just like a really small kind of print or I could actually leave it exposed I don't know let me know what you think obviously the rest of the house is still a mess 
Also guys, I'm not sure if this will have featured on another vlog yet, but this is another side table that was actually really kindly sent to me by an amazing brand as well, another small business called The Handcrafted Furniture Company. And I love them. I'll leave the link to their Instagram below. But this is just a really, really nice rustic table, which I'm gonna pop on. Sorry, the post just arrived. Um, which I'm gonna pop a big, big lamp on, which I haven't got yet. I'm not sure what I want, but just to go in that kind of corner over there to add some nice light to the room. But really loving kind of how that how that works with all of the colours in the space. Obviously, the bookcases and the rest of this room isn't dressed, but yeah, really happy with that that little table. So definitely another brand to check out, guys. <sighs> Just having a massive sigh of relief because I have popped out and away from Stormy for the first time since we got her. So Mikey is at home this morning looking after her and I've just popped out to run a couple of errands. I had to pick up a package for Mikey's birthday which is next week. So probably by the time you watch this actually it will be around his birthday but I will show you what I've got him and all of the prep because I do like to make quite a big fuss on his birthday every year. Um, but I thought whilst I'm kind of out and before I do something that I'm about to show you, I would just have a bit of a catch up and a heart to heart. So I know a lot of people said to us like, getting a puppy is gonna be really hard work. I don't think you're prepared, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I love that that's my impression of everyone. Whenever I'm doing an impersonation of anyone in my life who gives an opinion, I talk like, um, oh, and then me, me, me. I just wanna say you were all completely right. We feel like we're looking after a baby or like a toddler is so intense we can't have like five minutes peace and quiet yesterday i actually just put her on the floor in her playpen and just fell asleep for like 20 minutes until she made like a little noise and honestly she's so well behaved she hasn't had any accidents yet she doesn't do it she hasn't barked yet not that that's bad but she's very well behaved but it is a lot of hard work um, but I thought I would kind of do a puppy, a dedicated puppy vlog in a couple of weeks, kind of about how we trained her in our house, how we've helped her to get on with Ziggy, all of those things, because I know lots of people had a lot of questions. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm literally crumbling. I'm falling apart. Yeah, but I know a lot of people had questions like that. So yeah, definitely want to share all of it. But oh, feeling a bit tired today, hence... I look the way I do, my skin is all breaking out, I'm not sure if you can see on here, but yeah, it's just nice to get out for a couple of hours. So I'm actually just returning some lights that I did order for our kitchen to Dunelm. So the package that I had to collect was in Bristol, so it's about half an hour from our house, but um, I've got that. I'm going to return these lights to Dunelm, and do you know, for those of you that haven't shopped here in a while, there are some really, really good pieces at the moment and I always kind of keep an eye on lots of different brands and one thing people have asked of me is to use more affordable and budget-friendly brands in certain areas of the home so that's exactly what I'm going to try and do more on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Just show you kind of different priced pieces and yeah show you some different options of what you can get because obviously I'm the set I like to save for certain pieces in our house but I equally love to kind of fill the gaps with pieces from high street brands or from just charity shops antique fairs all of those things so I'm just going to return those lights and then I thought I could kind of show you around the store and if there's anything that I pick up <laughs> just spotted this lamp I'm not sure how well you can see it sorry I said lamp I mean ceiling light but it's only 25 quid and I really like something like that for over my dining table so swapping out one of the pendant light or the spotlight sorry so yeah let me know what you think I'm also looking for some lampshades at the moment but I need some bigger but for anyone who's looking for kind of small coolie lampshades these ones are they're faux linen and they're only four pounds which I mean, it's such a bargain and they do have a few different sizes that one's really nice it's a warmer color but yeah i need something much much bigger 
I've just spotted these as well, which are quite cool. So there's an olive trim and then the inside, it says linen, but it's kind of more like cane, I'd say, like a bamboo weave, but they have it with different color trims. So black, olive and cream, raffia. Raffia and foliage. Oh, it's raffia is the texture. Right, this colour is sand though. Um, they're £30 each, but yeah, I thought they were quite cute as well for more of like a Scandi vibe. Sorry, still in lighting, but I've just seen this gold ceiling light. So it looks like that, which is only £45 and I think is really, really nice. But for our dining room, I mean, I would definitely get that, but I think I want something that is a darker colour, just to kind of time with the rest of the room. And I've already got some gold wall lights coming, so I don't want too much gold. I've also just spotted this, which is eight pounds, which I think can be used on top of the radiators, just to give it like a protective coat. And this is clear and glossy, so I'm gonna use that on the radiators, which I've spray painted in the house, just to kind of top coat them. Guys, I'm also really, really impressed with the crockery collection. So these have a really nice speckle to them. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up, but they're only five pounds for these bowls. And I think this size here is really, really nice for like pasta dishes or yeah, something like that. It's quite tall. And they have them in loads of different colors, all with that kind of handmade look to them. They have mugs, plates, literally kind of everything in that collection. We've also needed new cutlery for a really long time. And again, some of the selections here are really nice. There's a nice hammered one. There's a really nice gold one, but it's a little bit thin for what I'm after. But yeah, lots of kind of everyday cutlery choices here and really affordable as well. So lots of them, that's 25 pounds. These ones are really heavy and they're only 18 pounds. So proper bargain. Also, this is £38. I actually have one of these which was a lot more expensive. I think it was about £100, but it's slate and wooden, so really nice for serving cheese boards or charcuterie spreads, kind of like that one. So yeah, really, really love that as well. I always, always get asked about these gingham seat pads that I have, which are from Dunelm. So they're 10 pounds each and they look so expensive. So I know this sounds really bad, but I think sometimes just when you take things out of the context of a shop like this, where there's so many different things, it looks really nice. So if you just had this on a really simple wooden chair um, or the gingham ones like I do in the garden, I think it just looks really pretty and you wouldn't kind of know it being sat next to something like this, which looks like a Ted Baker dress. If you know, you know. <laughs> I am looking for a few things for Mikey's birthday and I've just seen this picnic basket, which is only 35 pounds so it says that it's made from willow and it's got these really lovely i'm guessing faux leather straps um yeah perfect for kind of putting all your food in there which is one just big compartment and then two bottles of wine which is perfect for us one each with a straw so i think i might actually get one of those for mikey because i was planning on doing a picnic for his birthday with the dogs as well yeah, I think that's really cute and really, really good value for money. Okay, and just to show you some reality of some of the awful things that are here. Again, I'm really sorry if any of you have these. These might look lovely in your home, but they're really, really not for me. Um, just this kind of really, really shiny chrome, like wording and anything that's too glitzy. Again, please don't hate me for saying that. It's just really, really not my style. Um, yeah probably not not awful in everyone's home like these kind of things i think are actually quite nice but it's more just the kind of glitter and the wording for me these towels as well i think they just look so um, impractical you know how they've got like bands of glitter and it doesn't feel comfy so i mean do let me know in the comments if you have lots of glittery things and you love them because i am also a lover of a bit of glitter just not really in interiors although this rubber duck toilet brush it's quite fun, although it's not a very nice idea to kind of think that you're putting a dirty toilet brush on a duck's back. <laughs> 
I have just finished up in Dunelm and I'm actually really surprised by some of the nice things I saw. I didn't show you many bigger, bigger pieces of furniture but there were quite a few things that I really liked and if I didn't already have lots of furniture I would definitely buy. Um, but I did get the picnic box for Mikey's birthday which I think is really nice and again will be I'm kind of focused on just living a really good life and buying things that encourage us to do that so something like that I thought for Mikey's birthday I could fill with lots of nice goodies and food sweets maybe a couple of his favorite bottles of wine I thought that'd be a really nice gift um, to include with some of his presents and then I also got this rust-oleum crystal clear protective coat which I mentioned and then the only other thing I got was a light bulb so pretty boring but needed. It was really nice to have a browse and also just have kind of half an hour out of the house away from Stormy so that yeah Mikey can do some of the looking after because obviously I work from home all day every day and yeah just needed a little bit of a breather. I am back to it now gonna head back home crack on with some work for a couple of hours I've got lots of editing to do and I've also got some design work I need to crack on with and then I wanted to have a chat with you guys properly kind of about the future of my work and where I feel like I'm going and kind of hear your thoughts on that and yeah I thought that would be a good thing to do catch up in a bit so I am not long home, I've just taken Stormy out for a little walk around the block and she had a <laughs> it's literally a madhouse here, I swear. Someone walks past outside and Ziggy goes ballistic. Stormy is just running around being mental, but whatever, she's resting now, so I'm going to carry on filming this vlog. I know I mentioned this earlier in this video, but I'm currently sat in what will be the new dining room, just because I want Stormy to kind of get used to different rooms in the cottage and although she'll be sleeping upstairs in probably my study actually long term because Siggy sleeps in our bedroom and we kind of want to show him that he's still has one-on-one -on -one time with us and isn't alone it means that I'm basically having to film in this really dark space which isn't the best lighting and obviously there's backlighting coming from the window let me just try and make the angle better one sec. Right, hopefully that is a little bit better for you guys. Yeah, I think that's better lighting. I just wanted to say I just made a coffee and I spilt it all over my kitchen blind. Um, and no, I wasn't like throwing it at the wall. My blind was down from the window because we've been having work done in the kitchen, which will be in a vlog probably in a week or two. But yeah, I put, oh, I'm such an idiot. I just put my mug down on the blind, like, yeah, clearly way too tired, but I've tried to sponge it out. But I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll have to buy a new blind, but really frustrating, you know, when you make those kind of like silly little mistakes and yeah, very annoying. I just wanted to come on and talk a bit about my future plans and kind of goals in life. <laughs> I know that sounds a bit weird, but I just find it personally really therapeutic to kind of talk about what's going on with me and why I make certain decisions. And I also really trust and value any opinions and thoughts about kind of what I should do because it's really difficult when you work for yourself and I'm sure lots of you will know this or when you work at home on your own to kind of know how you feel about things because I think you don't really have anyone to talk to about it and obviously I have Mikey and my family and friends but I feel like sometimes they're going to tell me what I want to hear so I thought I would chat to you guys about it and just kind of vent about how I'm feeling as that's essentially why I made YouTube and hopefully you guys don't mind and will want to hear. <laughs> Basically, I've been doing design work on my own for about seven or eight months now and I've slowly slowed down that process and it's come to the point where I've actually removed my website from being online because I was getting a lot of inquiries which I am honestly unbelievably grateful for like I couldn't be more thankful to everyone who's inquired and if for some reason I didn't or haven't got back to you please 
don't take that as me being rude. It's because they're not coming to my email address anymore um, and they haven't been for a while and my inbox was so full that I just couldn't get back to people. And I also didn't feel or don't feel in the position to bring someone on full time to work with because it's really scary even thinking about how I'm gonna pay for my own life and bills and all of that stuff. And obviously I have a really good support network in Mikey who can cover a lot of expenses if I'm not able to pay them month to month because obviously it really varies how much I'm earning because I might have lots of fees come in one month and lots of um, adverts or campaigns through Instagram or whatever it may be and then not have any for two months so it's kind of managing my finances and basically that has meant that I've been reluctant to hire anyone because I'm not sure if I'll be able to sustain that long term and it's really scary and I still feel overwhelmed at the fact that I'm even doing this having been always full-time employed and kind of living paycheck to paycheck as well which I mean I still am but yeah it's very difficult so I have pulled back on a lot of design work because basically I've been spending I would say on average I was doing like 12 hour days of doing design work and then trying to work on Instagram content. I knew I wanted to start a YouTube channel. Things take so much time that I was kind of not spending time enjoying life and appreciating everything that's going on and my first year of marriage and all of those amazing things. So made the decision to pull back on design work but Sorry, I know I'm being really long-winded here, but I just feel really torn because I love social media, marketing, sharing life with you guys. That's like, honestly, I love it so much. But I also don't want to give up the design side of things as I love, again, so much talking with people, discussing projects, being creative with the ideas. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of in the position where I'm thinking I might be where well, I might consider bringing someone on even kind of on a freelance basis or like a part-time basis um, but just thinking about it so repeat clients who want to work together or new clients I can offer them the help that I really want to give and just have kind of design support with the more technical things um, behind the scenes and also I guess getting them involved with other things so sharing tips that they have because whoever it is that I would be working with I'm sure would have loads of experience and different ideas and that would help me evolve and learn more as well because I think you're obviously always learning and it's a really long and ongoing process designing a room so it would be nice to have someone else to kind of bounce ideas off of. Something else I've also thought about is kind of wanting to do a bit more blogging. So I'm obviously doing my vlog at the moment, but I'm thinking about starting my, opening my website again, initially just offering advice to people. So instead of filming videos, because honestly it takes so long to film, edit, upload to YouTube, it's such a lengthy process. So I'm kind of thinking I could do a once or twice a week blog post that kind of just has imagery, different ideas for mood boards, colour schemes with different lighting, what bed linen I suggest and kind of what I'm using with design clients. So even though I obviously won't offer a tailored service, which obviously is how to get the best outcome for your house, I think it would give lots of people who maybe don't want to spend money on working with the designer, just something to work from and some ideas of what's kind of going on in the industry all in one handy place. So that's kind of something I'm thinking about. So do let me know if that's something that you would enjoy seeing because I know I enjoy that and I love reading things. So for me, kind of having a place that I could go to and I could look under bedroom if I were redoing my bedroom and see bedside tables that would work with green, blue, yellow, all of those kind of things. 
So yeah, definitely want to share all of that on YouTube, but also thought it would be handy to have that somewhere else as well. So yeah, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'm really sorry that was like a 10 minute chat about kind of just where I'm going, but that's my thoughts. But I'd love to know kind of what you guys enjoy and if you want more design related things. I am filming a YouTube series on kind of how to design different rooms in the house and how to make a mood board, how to do all of those things. So that is coming, but more just would you, oh God. Do you know, we sometimes get cars drive past so loud, it's unbelievable. I feel like a dog in a park, you know, and they're just like. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Sorry to end that clip really abruptly. I just wanted to jump in here. It's present Toby now. I was filming a couple of weeks ago and I'm just editing that video which is going to go live tonight, the one you've been watching. Um, and I just wanted to kind of comment on a couple of the things that I was just talking about. So firstly, my blog is now live, which is really exciting. And as I said, it's just a space where I can kind of write about things going on in the industry, where I find inspiration, designers I'm loving, tips to use in your home, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I also just wanted to reiterate that by no means in doing that am I wanting to tread on any designer's toes. This is more for people that aren't considering getting an interior designer. So if you're just planning on updating a room yourself or you enjoy doing it yourself and you just want a bit of inspiration and some ideas and as always I love so many designers and will continue to support and celebrate them and I'm a designer myself and still work with clients and will continue to do so. This is not an alternative to interior design but it's more just giving you tips to be able to do it in your home and to give you some hopefully ideas that you might not have thought about in terms of styling, layouts, different textures, colours, all of that stuff and will be updated regularly. As obviously, even though there are loads of different packages out there, there is a cost that comes with interior design and even though I think it's 100% worth it, some people might not have the funds available to do that and I wanted to be able to offer a service or not even a service, just an outlet or somewhere that people can find inspiration and read more about design and why certain things are done. Because I find as well, you see some things online on Instagram, Pinterest, and you're kind of unsure why someone does it. So I thought the blog would be a good place to narrate different ideas and perhaps why someone has done something. So that's all, I just wanted to kind of clarify that now. <laughs> anyway, I am gonna round off the vlog there, but hopefully you enjoyed. I'm really sorry that that was such a lengthy one. Um, if you made it to the end, you definitely deserve a medal. <laughs> Looking forward to catching up with you guys soon. Bye.